We're in AAA to check in on the ball strike challenge system. Rochester will lose all three of their challenges early, leading up to a pitcher being ejected for arguing a ball call the old fashioned way. 2-2 two, two is a called strike three over the outside corner. Mazzaro will challenge. Uh, he's not even leaving the matters box. He's challenging that one. He's not even going anywhere. Rochester's first challenge is in the second inning over a strike call. As the ball is a strike, just clipping the outside corner. It buzzed the edge. Third strikeout for Hutchison on the day. Not to worry, the other team, Buffalo, will challenge shortly thereafter. 1-0. Over the outside corner, the count is a ball and a strike. Yeah, Lantigua is going to take a, take a look at it. He thought that breaking ball bent outside. We will watch on the video replay with everyone else. It is a strike just by the slimmest of margins. For this one, let's time how long the process takes. And he takes a splitter up high for ball one. And we will have a challenge from the Red Wings. So we will see if the call is upheld or overturned. Might have been a pretty good pitch, but might have been a tad high. Yep, just a little high. And as a result, that is the second unsuccessful challenge by the Red Wings already in this game. It's pretty quick, 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. Not bad at all. This is the 3-0. Misses the outside corner, ball four. It's a one-out walk. See, I don't know if I would bother to challenge this. It's, you know, it's a 3-0. And we will see the result of the pitch. It is low, so the Bisons, just like the Red Wings, down to one challenge remaining. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I think I'd have saved that. Challenge. Each team only has one challenge remaining. Just missed low, and the count is even at two and two, but the Bisons will challenge. So we will see the replay review. And if in, indeed this was ball two or strike three. As we see the pitch, it is low, and the Bisons have no challenges remaining for the game. Not to be outdone, Rochester will also challenge one final time. The line, the 2 1. Just missed up and in, three balls and a strike. And I believe there will be a challenge. That might have been a pretty decent pitch. We'll see. Willingham is six foot four, 215 pounds, and let's take a look. It was high. A little bit high. I'll tell you what. Takahito, Matsuda's having a good day behind the plate the other day. I'd say so. Six for six for a 0% overturn rate. One observation I've had thus far, we've seen player challenges of a lot of borderline edge pitches that have a lower likelihood of getting overturned. Umpires can call those usually. Replay was designed to correct the obvious miss, and none of these were those. That means later in the game with no challenges remaining, here comes a ball strike ejection. Pulled foul, first base side. It is 0 in a day as the pitch misses low. It's a ball and a strike. Something that's also important to note is the score is 9 to 1. Brantley in the front foot. Ready on righty, the first pitch is right down the middle, strike one. One pitch is swung through and missed. Comes the 0 2, spins down and away. The next toss spins down and away. It's now 2 and 2. 2 2 is off the outside corner, 3 and 2. Yeah, the team that we saw, yeah. Foul back, stays 3 2 pitch. Chop to the left side, through for a base hit. Rounding third is Bernard, he will score. It's an RBI single for Jamie Ritchie, his second of the day, as the Bisons have a 10-1 lead in the seventh. Championship, as the first toss is in for a strike, 0-1. Competing for that first half crown. Pitch over the outside corner, 0-2. 0-2, chopper to the right side. Adams tries to backhand it, knocks it down. Underhand flip to first, and they get the out. Just getting the foot in the bag, stabbing towards it is Danish. The runners will advance on the 3-1 bounce out. Has his first at bat of the day, takes over the outside corner, strike one and striking distance. You have to try and maintain it and that's so hard. Yeah, you know, it's out of third. 0-2 is fouled back by Clement and stays no ball. 0-2 pitches, high chopper to the shortstop, Barreto charging in, fields and throws high, Adams off the bag, everyone's safe. Scoring from third is Brantley. Eden stands in and takes a strike over the outside corner. Eden looking for his first hit of the day. And he takes the sweeper downstairs. That evens the count of the ball and a strike. And Dan. Fastball missing a little bit low. It's two and one. Danish putting both hands out in frustration. 
And now the home plate umpire takes his mask off. And the conversation concludes quickly. I see Billy McMillan trying to calm down the home plate umpire. 2 1 pitches swung through and missed. It's 2 and 2. Right, that's the last thing Rochester wants to do is use another pitcher today. Right. And now the 2 2 to Eden. Up and in. Runs the count full. The payoff. Is chopped slowly third base side. Charging into his left is Alou. Throws across the diamond and gets the out. Eden is retired. So are the Bisons. Not before the herd score a couple of runs. And as Tyler Danish still letting Takamatsuda know about his strike zone. Tyler Danish was ejected at the end of the it was a running conversation going on with the Red Wing dugout in between innings as the pitch is downstairs it's one and one. Don't worry there's another ejection in this game that you can see. Blankenhorn struck out his first time up the pitch taken downstairs an appeal and he did go too far according to Andrew Corkle the third base umpire out by second. And now Matt Lecroy is being told by Takamatsuda he has been ejected. The acting crew chief didn't like that Matthew Lecroy was arguing with Andrew Corkle at third base, and now he's going to get his money's worth. Well, you know, that's a fill in umpire out there, and, and uh, I think Matsuda, he was kind of protecting him a little bit there, and then you could hear Matthew Lecroy saying, I'm not talking to you, and then Matsuda said, I'm talking to you, goodbye. Yeah, and as a result, Matthew Lecroy has been ejected in. It is a one and one count on blank. In a crew of three, this is mechanically proper. The third base umpire is positioned inside at C position and thus takes check swing calls on lefties from that spot. I just think that Matthew LaCroix, he, he's frustrated right now. He's he's down eight to one early and, it, you know, it just builds up on you and you just got to take it out on something. Not much you could do. My favorite part about these is the batter and the catcher sort of laughing about it. We saw it in the majors too, so I think that's a pretty funny way of handling it if you're a bystander. Pitch just missed inside now, 3 0. That said, we were here to check out the challenge system at AAA because some of you said you wanted to see it, so I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe here and visit us at closecallsports.com. Wears a lot of jerseys and caps as the 3 0. Misses the outside corner ball four. It is low, so the Bisons, just like the Red Wings, down to one challenge remaining. 